the course of true love was running smooth for Charlie Janeway and Victoria Hosegood until the couple from Tunbridge decided they wanted a humanist wedding, which is not legally recognised in England. So they're taking the government to court to push for a change in the law. Civil ceremonies are non-religious. They are legally recognised. Why isn't that enough? With civil ceremonies as well, you do have to stick to a relatively script, um, strict script. I mean, there is a bit of flexibility in it, but it is a little bit like a bit of a one-size-fits-all. We just we, That's not for us. This is the one chance that we're going to get to profess our love to our friends and family, and we want it to be something that is really personal. Simply, in, in black and white, uh, humanism is is in the Human Rights Act as to be treated equally as other religious beliefs. That includes uh, marriage law, but currently it's not treated the same as any other, so therefore you have to go to the registrar office after to be legally married. So that is a clear breach of the, the Human Rights Act. Humanism is a non-religious, ethical worldview. Accredited humanist celebrant Richard Hackett from Loxheath in Hampshire has been performing humanist ceremonies for years. A humanist wedding can be like any wedding, um, except there is no religious element. Um, there will be vows, there will be um, some rituals, or it can, can be completely different. It can be completely wacky, and it can be anywhere, and it can be what the couple want. It's a very personal ceremony. The Ministry of Justice told us it wants to give couples more choice in how they celebrate their commitment to each other. A Law Commission review is underway. It's due to report back next year. But speaking from his home in Henley-on-Thames, Ricky Thompson said the government is dragging its heels. We're really not clear why the government has been uh, making this so difficult. Um, legal recognition has already been brought about in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Um, and um, it's clearly something that lots of people want. If the law is changed over the course of a two-day High Court hearing now underway, Charlie and Victoria will legally marry at a humanist ceremony next year. Sarah Saunders, ITV News.